triggering an outpouring of tributes for parts unknown host Anthony Bourdain. The passionate chef traveled the world, bringing us food, flavor, and a taste of what life is like in cultures all across the world. He was in France taping an episode of his travel show when he was found dead inside his hotel room. Today, the network confirmed that he killed himself. Today, both friends and fans have been sharing their grief online, praising his talents not only as a chef, but for his knack for bringing people together through food. Anthony Bourdain had the number had like the greatest number of talents of anyone in the food world and being able to talk to people at their level, but also being an incredible filmmaker and director and writer. Fellow travelers, this is what you want. This is what you need. This is the path. Such a great storyteller. The 61 year old leaves behind an 11 year old daughter. Bourdain's death comes just days after the CDC put out staggering new statistics showing a dramatic rise in the number of suicides. Team 12's Brian West talked with a psychiatrist about the warning signs and how you can help someone with suicidal thoughts. It's getting uh, worse, more frequent than it was in the past. Suicide is the 10th leading cause of death in the U.S. The Centers for Disease Control and Prevention just published a report saying the mental health condition is on the rise. The center says suicide rates have increased by 25%. Anthony Bourdain, the host of CNN's Parts Unknown, is dead. In the, the past week, two well-known celebrities CNN took their lives, bringing suicide the to the national spotlight. Fashion icon Kate Spade and CNN journalist Anthony Bourdain. So many people say, well, they're famous. They have a lot of money. How is it that they could commit suicide? But I think what people need to remember is that major depression doesn't pick favorites between poor people, rich people, um, people with close families, people who don't have close families. Dr. Carol Olson is the chair of the psychiatry department at Desert Vista Behavioral Health. She says there are signs that someone is having dark thoughts. Depression, changes in sleep, rapid mood swings, loss of appetite, lack of interest or pleasure in activities, and saying things like, the world would be better off without me. In addition, right before somebody commits suicide, often they're doing things that in retrospect people say, hey, I should have paid more attention, like giving cherished possessions away talking to people they haven't talked to in a while to kind of say goodbye. She adds that you should directly ask someone if they are considering suicide and that you should be with them while they call a doctor or a hotline for help. In Mesa, Brian West, 12 News. And as we address this growing problem, we want to take a moment and invite anyone who may identify with some of those feelings to reach out, get help and know that you are not alone. If you or someone that you know are having suicidal thoughts, you can call the National Suicide Prevention Lifeline at 1-800-273-TALK. And you can also find more resources at 12news.com.